leader and all of your future leaders, you must not accept this. You must not take the trodden path. You have to, to become a leader, you have to face resistance. No one has ever, ever achieved anything if they haven't faced failures, if they haven't had disappointments, if they haven't had days when they don't want to wake up, get out of bed. No, no one has ever achieved anything. To achieve anything in life, you have to be prepared to take on the odds, face disappointment. But all of you do not realize that all of us, the Almighty has given tremendous strength which lies within us. You only discover that strength when you put yourself up against resistance. If you don't face resistance, that strength lies dormant within you. The moment you take on challenges, you will then start discovering this, the enormous strength you have in you. So when you go on the trodden path, you will... I used to stay up all night thinking, God, what if I fail? Uh, what are my first matches which I played in front of my home crowd in Lahore? I went into bat. The whole crowd on the right side of the pavilion is calling me the Lion of Lahore. All the way cheering me, all the way to the wicket. The problem in, in cricket is that uh, in batting is that you only have one life. So you can go all the way to the wicket, which is almost 70, 80 yards away, you can, and then be out first ball and walk all the way back those 70, 80 yards, which is exactly what happened to me. Resistance, setbacks, failures are a way of looking into yourself, soul searching. And university education should enable you to analyze your mistakes better than others. You should be able to go to the core of what's going wrong, make amends, and then you always get back much more. Uh, you know, in, uh, in anything you do um, in, in life, you have to believe that you're going to win. You can't think, what if I don't win? I, my mind doesn't work that way. I believe I'm going to win and it's a matter of time. And you know, one of my colleagues was reminding me, he said, uh, six years down the line, we had one seat in parliament. And he's driving me and you know, he's just driving me around and saying, look, look at this, you know, look at the neglect of that village. They have no drinking water. Look at the state of the road. And I said, don't worry, when we come to power, we'll fix that. And he, now he tells me, he said, I feel like, is he God mad? <laughs> I mean, we've got one seat in parliament. But then you have to believe that. You've got to believe that you're going to win. And I have never not believed, I'm, one day I'm going to win.